Starting off this DIY, I will be taking two foam boards from the Dollar Tree that I have used before, but because they were rough, I couldn't use them for other projects, but for this project it's perfect, so I'm going to be joining them together with tape. I'll be making two circles on the board, and I'm going to be cutting out the shape. I'll be taking the measurement for the second circle with this old mirror that I've had at home. And this mirror is going to be used for the project. But for now, after I'm done making my circle, I'm going to carve out the shape and then fortify it with craft sticks. I'll be covering the top with mirror reflective paper. I know this looks really rough, but it won't be noticeable when I'm done with the project. Now I'm going to be putting in the mirror in the middle and this is going to be used for mounting the project when I'm done with it on the wall. I'm going to have this in the middle and then attach it to the round shape that I have and I'll be using craft sticks to hold them together, tape and as well as glue. I'm not using a strong adhesive because what I'm making is not heavy at all. I'll be covering the middle part with a board, but as you can see, the craft sticks is already connecting the mirror to the outer board. So when I have this in the middle, I'm going to glue it down in the middle and then carve out just where the hook is to make it easy for me to hang this on the wall. I have used this particular item from the Dollar Tree for a lot of projects, but for today, I'm going to share with you guys how to make a really, really large round wall mirror. And all I'm doing is gluing them down to the board and giving them equal spacing. I'll be decorating in between the plates with plastic knives. These are silver plated knives that are not strong at all. That's why I had to use them for this project. Now I'm going to be using round mirrors as well to decorate the plastic knives so that it will look much fuller on the wall. Here's what it looks like. And I really love the bold statement it makes on the wall. Here's another design that I made about four years ago, which is quite a long time ago. But I really love how this mirror turned out and the link for this is going to be down in the description box below. I forgot to mention that mounting the DIY mirror that I made was quite challenging, so I'm going to recommend using a flat paint stirrer glued at the back of each and every one of the plates. The difference in color here between the main mirror and the Dollar Tree plates is there, and it kind of bothered me a bit. But then apart from that, I think every other thing looks okay. Thank you all so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And for those of you who have not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button.